Dallas City Council is one step closer to making a final decision on what to do with the city's Confederate monuments. City employees laid out the options during a briefing, including the hundreds of thousands of dollars it would cost to move monuments like the Robert E. Lee statue that was removed last year. Fox News' Lynn Ann Wynn joins us live from Oakland Park, where the base of that statue still sits. Lynn Ann. Well, Clarice City Council still has a lot to consider within the next coming weeks, including what to do with the base here still remaining, what to do with the Robert E. Lee statue, what to do with the Confederate monument that still sits in Pioneer Park, and whether or not to rename certain streets that are connected with the Confederacy. They tackled some of those issues today. We cannot forget what has happened, and we have to face up to our history in the city of Dallas and deal with it. The Office of Cultural Affairs recommending Wednesday to move the Robert E. Lee statue currently in storage to the Texas Civil War Museum in White Settlement. First of all, Robert is going west somewhere. He's not coming back over here. Let's be real clear. The statue would be on long-term loan to the museum and would cost an estimated $75,000 to move, plus $125,000 to remove the base and steps from the statue's former home in Oaklawn Park. Critics point out the Confederate monument in Pioneer Park could prove even more costly. The removal is easily going to cost into the millions. Mr. Mayor, the fact of the matter is that it is impossible to accurately project the cost of removing the Confederate monument. The Office of Cultural Affairs recommending instead to remove the surrounding statues from the bases at a cost of $150,000 and adding historical markers for context to the monument at a cost of about $25,000. We can take the inscriptions off this over there, remove the, the, the Confederate people, do the smoothing of the stones, take all of the verbiage out from over there. Why keep fighting this war? Why keep reopening the wounds and just contextualize the statues and move on? Council also got recommendations to rename Lee Parkway and to add a marker to memorialize a shocking chapter in Dallas history. The 1910 downtown Dallas lynching of Alan Brooks. I am always open for compromise, but at the end of the day, the final vote will be what is right for us to do. And there is no deadline yet on when these issues might come up to a final vote in City Council. But Mayor Pro Tem Dwayne Carraway told us today that we could see an action item on the agenda in City Council within the next 30 days. Clarice, back to you.